Well, see what the first place team in the NFC is all about. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dimes with Mr. Dugar. <laughs> and Sunday, I'm going to, uh, today, I'm going to preview and predict Sunday's matchup as you have the Washington Commanders hosting the Cleveland Browns. Um, before I get into this video, man, for anyone, if you want to donate to the channel, follow me on social media. Also, I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday. All that information going to be down in the description box. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, bell notification button, um, and also hit the like button and share it with your folks. Well, um, here come the commanders, man. <laughs> uh, as an LSU fan, also, I was afraid of this. I know how good Jaden Daniels is, and I was hoping that the Chicago Bears would have had common sense and took Jaden Daniels over Caleb Williams, but they didn't, and so now we stuck uh, with Jaden Daniels in our division. Oh, man, look, man, he's been incredible. Um, not only does he have a rookie, but he also has an NFL record. 82% completion percentage through his first four games. Um, you know, took an L in Tampa Bay to start the season like we did, but rattled off three straight. And, um, and in them three straight, you know, a tough division win against a Giants team that normally gives them trouble. Then they impressively go on the road and knock off Joe Burrow and the Bengals. And then they come, uh, they also go back on the road on the short week and blow out Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. Uh, they playing really good. Like I said, Jane Daniels has been amazing. Um, Brian Robinson running the football hard. Uh, Terry McLaurin looked like he got a newfound life out there. Uh, and they, they dust off my boy Zach Ertz, man. They done, they done took him out the grave, dust him off, and he's a viable option for them. Um, you know, they played well defensively against Arizona. Before that, they were, they were a little shaky on defense. Uh, but you know one thing about Washington, they always got a good defensive line. Uh, they got the old vet, veteran Bobby Wagner out there playing linebacker. And um, and they got a kicker. They got an automatic kicker, so Washington looking good. And also, man, as an Eagles fan, um, I'm starting to see a lot of Washington fans now. Um, not saying that, that a lot of them wasn't fans, but they sure been quiet the last few years. But now a lot of them coming out of the woodworks. Hey, I enjoy it. I embrace it. It's going to be a fun race for the division, man. Oh, um, and not looking at the Cleveland Browns. And it's like, ugh. <laughs> like, they just off to an ugly start, man. Um, You know, they took two hot L's at home against NFC East opponents, the Dallas Cowboys and New York Giants. And the only win came against the winless Jacksonville Jaguars. And they even went to Vegas and lost to the Raiders last week. Look, man, I said it after they lost to Dallas. Deshaun Washington's just not any good, man. Um, you know, whatever personal situation he got going on, which led to his exit from Houston, uh, he just ain't the same player, man. Um, guaranteed money, and he's just not that guy no more. He averages like one touchdown pass a game over the last two seasons. Um, you know, they do got reinforcements coming soon. Unfortunately, probably against my Eagles next, next week with Nick Chubb. And offensively, you know, they got good weapons. You know, you, you got Amari Cooper and Judy and, and Elijah Moore in them. And they just still very stagnant offensively. Uh, they do got Miles Garrett, who is amazing. You know, they do have a solid secondary. But um, overall, man, they, right now they just not a good football team, you know. Um, keys to this matchup, man, for the commanders is just, you know, letting Daniels do him, man. <laughs> just continue to feature him, let him run the show, and um, protect him at all costs. Keep Miles Garrett away from him, man. You know, you should have success. And for Cleveland, that's the key. Miles Garrett, uh, that D-line, got to get after Jane Daniels and, and finally try to hope he turn into a rookie. Um, As far as my prediction, man, um, I mean, Washington going to win this game, man. They, they, just, they just hot right now. Jane Daniels is playing really, really well. They at home. Um, and like I said, Cleveland is just – not a good team, man. Um, hopefully they don't turn into a good team against my Eagles next week. But 
they just not really a good team, man. So I got the um I got the Washington Commanders um, beating the Cleveland Browns at home. Um, if, but for with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and the content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles, fly.